Are you ready for some high octane energy? So much fun. A great show for the entire family. I can't wait for it. It's going to be loud. It's going to be rude. No, it's not going to be rude. rude. No, it's it's, <laughs> it's going to be it's so gonna rude. Be, it's going to be incredible tomorrow and Saturday afternoon at the Canelta Center. Kirby, are you ready for Monsters and Mayhem? On my drive to work this morning at 5 a.m., I was driving past the Canelta Center seeing the whole entourage roll in with the massive trucks. And I mean, talk about an entourage. That's right. Why? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why the southern twang for a second there? You saw the massive trucks? <laughs> do I, mean, I don't know why I do that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's my dad's side of the family coming through with his Tennessee accent. There you go. I love it. Okay, let's get them on the show. First of all, I've got uh, Bill Payne. Right here. Morning, Bill. How are Good you? Good morning. How are you? Bill Payne is It's the... funny that she says the whole Canal to Center, because when I rolled in, I parked the monster trucks right in the uh, the electric car parking lot. It. Uh, I just thought it was going to be fitting just to go ahead and have, you know, the thing that is the farthest from being green. That's right. It's parked like, right parked in the green right parking there. lot, you know. And I, I, I think when I get back, I'll even go ahead and put the little... Uh, the. You're the, like, oh, the wait. The plug-in thing maybe in my, my gas tank just to, you know. <laughs> wow, be careful. There may be, a, giggles. There may be a Prius under there. You never know. <laughs> there there may be. There is lots of cars there in the parking lot that we're going to be crushing. That's right. Rob Wallace Chuck is here as well. Morning, Rob. How are Morning. you? Morning. How are you? Uh, Rob is the promoter. He's the guy that's done a lot of the legwork to uh, get this show here and uh, get it done up again. And, and uh, we saw great crowds last year. And so you thought, wow, it's a gold mine here. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I, I, what I would say is that the people around here need to see some good shows, and they sure turned out last year, and, and from the looks of things, they're going to turn out really good this year, too, but uh, we still have tickets available, though. All right. How is the Canelta Center looking? Because last time we saw it, Tuesday night, there was a Tiger game there, yeah. and the Tigers are busy uh, crushing the Kootenai ice, right so on. let's do some more crushing. That's right. I mean, uh, last night, or yesterday afternoon, we started rolling the dirt in, and and uh, putting it down on the floor and getting the track built and stuff. We were there till about 10 o'clock last night working it away. And, and uh, as I was mentioning off air, the best dirt I've ever worked with in 30 years is in Medicine Hat, I swear. Wait, what? <laughs> the best dirt. We're, we're a dirty city. Okay, well, t- uh, tell it's, me. It's a funny thing, but it's, it's uh, you know, when it's the right consistency and you can build the jumps and the ramps really, really high and, uh, Bill really likes that. I mean, he likes uh, he likes to go high. See what he says by best dirt means that it's really sticky, gummy, and it makes the trucks flip right over. So it uh, <laughs> careful. You know, now. you get lots of traction. You'll see the tires have got good cleats. But uh, as uh, we already discussed earlier. Um, the reason why Rockstar's back, I guess, is because if you roll over, then they want to invite you back the next year to see if you're yes. going to do it again. So that's why I guess that's why I'm back again because I rolled over. So it, uh, here we are. So, so what happened last year? Because uh, collectively there was a gasp over the crowd. I mean, we didn't know what was going on. You know, I, I don't even remember because I closed my eyes. Really, <laughs> you it, closed uh, your eyes when yeah, you're well, driving a monster what, truck? That's why we come into these <laughs> hockey arenas because <laughs> they have those little aluminum dashers oh, or bumpers. Quiet now. So <laughs> you just yeah, you just play like bumper cars, like bowling. You just start bouncing <laughs> off all of them. Like the, I got the lady from the Canalta Center here right now, sweating right now. Could, uh, you know, that's okay. Like, we covered them with Windsor plywood. I feel right. like nice plug there. Nice plug. I feel like you know there was a show once called Jackass. I feel like you'd fit well into that. Oh, Closing yeah, your eyes while driving a monster truck. Why not? It, uh, I get scared. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Shut Does that eyes. make sense, Here too? Yeah. Yeah. Speech all all sense. Uh, Bill, uh, sorry, Rob, uh, tell us more about what we can expect. I mean, last year we had, I think we had skidoos and we had quads and right. everything else there. Uh, set the show up for us. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have the monster trucks, of course, and we have a few different new monster trucks, some 3D bodies, some dog bodies, a brand new ride truck going to be there. So, of course, the pit party starts early, so if you want to get a ride, you come down early to the pit parties. Um, something brand new this year, tough trucks. We're going to bring tough trucks into the Canalta Center. Um, um, I don't think it's uh, it's been a really long time since Tough Trucks have even been in Medicine Hat, let alone indoors. Um, so that's a pretty cool event. It's a timed event by local guys bring their uh, fixed up trucks out there and see what they can do with them, of course. And then the freestyle is back. We got freestyle motocross coming back. Um, some high flying guys, Billy Kohut and uh, and Dylan uh, McM- uh, Dylan. 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 Dylan's coming Dylan. back. Dylan's coming back. Woo-hoo! Sorry, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get uh, Sean uh, from Windsor Plywood on the show here. Sean Welsh. Uh, morning, my friend. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Good. Uh, I, I know you guys are very, very proud to be presenting a show like this and cooperating in any way you can. It's just a big deal for you guys. It is a big deal, yeah. We're just really happy to be part of it and uh, enjoying having them back for a second year. And a big event tomorrow that's going on that uh, you guys are excited to uh, put on. Yeah, tomorrow uh, from 12 to 
two at our store. We're going to bring one of the trucks inside the store, and we're going to have some of the motocross riders and drivers down there for a meet and greet. So, you know, come on in, bring your kids into the warm store and enjoy checking it out. Hey, Bill, what's the best part of being a monster truck driver, the most enjoyable part of the whole thing? You know, waking up early in the morning, coming down and making fun of the radio hosts. It, uh, it's probably the most exciting part of my job. It, uh, but, uh, no, really, on a serious note, uh, probably pit parties. Um, you know, really just because it's when I get my trucks cleaned the most because there's so many kids yep. down there, you know, crawling over the trucks and looking at them because that's what we let, you know, we let people come down and look right at the trucks. And uh, my trucks never is so clean. All the grease just leaves with the kids. So it's, it's perfect. It, uh, you use them as like little rays. Yeah, they're, the little sponges. Truck. Exactly. But like, hey, kid, you missed a spot. You should go over there and look at that that side of the motor. So, it, uh, you know, we have a great time. It, uh, I was that kid, you know, I was the poster child at eight years old. I went to my first Moss Truck show fell in love with it so it uh, the dreams do come true you know i mean I, my wife and i were were big on that part you'll hear us during the show push and you know that you know try hard work hard get outside you know and uh, uh my wife is huge into the the breast cancer thing so you see we just came out with another brand new t-shirt design and she donates all that money that she raises to the cancer society so it uh everything's huge with monster trucks they've given us a great life and we try to give back everywhere we can it uh so we do the pit parties for free like rob said we we offer multiple shows here i mean we've got two separate shows with the freestyle motocross and then you get monster trucks all combined to one and we make this thing so it's affordable that way you know whether you have a job or you don't have a job you can afford to come to monster trucks for two hours you don't have to worry about how you're making your house payment your car payments all you got to worry about is just making your kids happy so it's uh you know let them watch some videos on youtube of rockstar and just look at the expression on their face do you really want them sitting on the their couch this weekend or do you want them having a great time you know screaming and yelling and uh uh, you know, that's my job is to make them excited. And that way they go home with you and drive you crazy the rest of the day. <laughs> Bill Payne is the driver of Rockstar this weekend at Monsters and Mayhem. Uh, Rob Wallacechuk is the promoter of the event as well. Uh, we encourage everyone to get some tickets. There are still plenty available for uh, both shows. So go buy a ticket, buy a T-shirt. You know, buy the flag or whatever merchandise right. we got there. Just, yeah, take uh, a ride in the truck. Yes. Or you buy got. some plywood. Right. Buy some plywood <laughs> at uh, Windsor Plywood. Guys, thanks so much. It's going to be a great show tomorrow and Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock at the Canelta Center. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. The sunrise.